Imagine if you could upload your own local files into ChatGPT and then analyze the data or the text or do something else with them based on your particular requirements. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at a couple of new options that have come online this month that offer great promise in this area. The first is Code Interpreter in ChatGPT, which is available now to all ChatGPT Plus subscribers. And the second is the new Claude 2 model from Anthropic, which has been released as a free beta to anyone who wants to sign up. To use Code Interpreter, you need to be a ChatGPT Plus subscriber, but the feature should now be available to all subscribers, whereas previously it was only available to a few. To turn it on, head down to the three dots next to your account in the bottom left of the window, click on Settings, and then Beta Features, then turn on Code Interpreter. Once you've got that turned on, you should be able to use it just by starting a new chat, selecting GPT-4, and choosing Code Interpreter from the drop-down. With this turned on, there is a subtle change in the UI. You now have a plus icon next to the message box, which lets you upload a file. Here I have some dummy customer information in a CSV file and I'm going to upload this into Code Interpreter and get it to help me analyze it. So first of all, I just prompt it to let me know it understands what it's looking at. And from there, I can start asking questions about my file. If content like this is useful to you, then please do drop this video a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If this content would be useful to people in your network, please also consider sharing it there. Here I get a table showing the top 10 entries of customers by state. But I can also ask it to present this information as a chart. But if I don't like this chart, I can ask it to format it differently. So now we're just going to create a few more tables and charts from our data. And depending on your data set, you could do some pretty complex things here. What's new isn't the ability of ChatGPT to analyze complex data, but for it to be able to get it at scale from a local file and then generate visual tools for analyzing it with charts. The file I've uploaded here is a thousand records, but online sources suggest you can upload a hundred megabyte files or more to this service. So now we've got a few more things in our chat, I'm going to ask Code Interpreter to package them together in a report with a cover page and allow me to download it. And there you go. Something that would take many people quite a long time to build in Excel and then compile in Word can be done using natural language in a few minutes with Code Interpreter. It certainly isn't perfect, but it's a good start. Now it's important to understand that what's happening with Code Interpreter isn't simply giving you a place where you can upload data and do analysis like this. You're essentially getting a computer that can run Python in the cloud. So anything that you can do within that regard, you can't access the internet or anything like that. Um, but in terms of kind of data analysis, dealing with different files, there's lots of different stuff that you can do. And I highly recommend that if you play around with this, you take a look at some other examples because there's a lot of stuff, particularly on the pro coding side of things that you can do with Code Interpreter that are kind of outside of the scope of what I'm showing you here. So now let's jump over to something different. Claude 2 is a new model from OpenAI competitor Anthropic, and anyone can now get beta access to this for free. To do so, you head over to Claude.ai and either sign up using your email address or log in using your Google account. And again, once we're here, we have the ability to upload files. This time, you can use the paperclip icon and you can upload up to five files of up to 10 megabytes each. So this time around, we're gonna try something a little bit different. This is the Microsoft Power Platform Licensing Guide, which is a heavy 28-page document covering all the different licensing terms for Power Platform licenses. 
In this recent video, I highlighted how licensing is something a lot of Power Platform users get confused about, so I wondered if Claude could break down the confusion. First of all, Claude is able to give me a list of the different licenses that provide access to some Power Platform functionality. Let's see specifically if it understands what's included with a license. What about Microsoft 365 E3? So it provides a good breakdown and from first glance it looks pretty accurate. But how about addressing something a bit more confusing or something that confuses more people like licensing AI Builder? So again, it provides a good overview. So it seems that Claude is pretty competent at this, but let's just return to the first query to show you something it lacks. When asked to put the information in a table, it really doesn't do this well. So presentationally, it really is lacking in comparison to ChatGPT and Code Interpreter. After playing with these tools a little, I trust Code Interpreter far more than Claude on data analysis. Claude made some pretty basic errors in analyzing the CSV data I tested with at some points. And while it can, for example, provide Python code that can be used to plot a graph, it cannot plot that graph itself. In at least one case, the code it gave me contained errors. It also lacks the ability to present its responses neatly in tables, which is a real limitation. On text-based analysis, Claude performed a lot better. But while ChatGPT failed on this, it did so clearly. It didn't present wrong information like Claude did on data analysis. It just pretty much described its struggles and presented its homework on a wrinkled napkin covered in coffee stains. Where these AI tools crash and burn, it can be frustrating, but ultimately I think we can all agree that this outcome is more helpful and safer than them very confidently giving you a very wrong answer like Claude did on the data analysis task I gave it. If you create something like a graph plot in Code Interpreter, then you can get it to provide you that file as a PDF, so it makes it pretty easy to move these outputs around to somewhere more useful. Claude cannot do this, but as it stands, you might not want it to anyway, as the graph might not be right. So a lot of my AI content here is focused on Microsoft 365 Copilot and Microsoft's Copilot family. And it's important, if you've been waiting for that product to become available, that you understand that while its capabilities may appear similar to what we've just seen, there are some key differences. The biggest and most important one is about the protection of your data. When Microsoft 365 Copilot comes online, you'll be able to utilize the capabilities of GPT-4 against your data while retaining complete control over it. For a model like Claude 2 that's in beta, you are literally signing up to test the product. While both Anthropic and OpenAI do make assertions around the protection of your data, these are nowhere near as strong as Microsoft's, where you are literally never storing data related to your AI requests outside the confines of your tenant. Both Code Interpreter and Claude are also limited by having no access to the internet. So you cannot, for example, upload your data set and have it compared to something that's live on the web. In ChatGPT, having to remember what capabilities are enabled on a particular chat is becoming a frustration. You can use Code Interpreter or plugins, but not both at the same time. And being internet access is still not there after it was removed a few weeks ago. So hopefully they come up with a way of making this a bit clearer and easier. A final limitation that I think it's important to highlight is that in ChatGPT, we are used to being able to return to our chats and essentially pick up the same information. But for chats with Code Interpreter enabled, this doesn't work in the same way, as after a period of time, the environment times out, and so not everything is still available. This is just something to be aware of that may alter how you use ChatGPT with Code Interpreter versus your normal use. I think being able to access Claw 2 right now for free is great. And anyone who wants to play around with these sorts of capabilities can do so there with zero entry barrier. However, as it stands, its ability to add value from files you upload is more limited than that of Code Interpreter, particularly with complex data. But remember that access to Code Interpreter costs $20 a month. So there's a far bigger entry barrier for new users. It's also important to point out that Google's BARD gives you the ability to upload files. You can upload images, but they can't be images of people. I took a look at it, decided it seemed unimpressive compared to Code Interpreter and Claude, and gave up on its inclusion in this video. 
One day, I'll find something with Barb that impresses me, but today is not that day. So go have a play with these tools. Remember, these are still beta products, so you need to be cognizant of that. And also remember that these are still not places you should be uploading your confidential or proprietary data, unless you are fully aware of the privacy policies in place and you're happy that they give you the protection you and your company needs. As it stands, for my private business data, I'm gonna continue waiting for Microsoft 365 Copilot, but I'm certainly gonna start using Code Interpreter for certain tasks. I hope this information has been useful. Drop a comment below on your thoughts on these new developments. Will you be using them? Which do you prefer? And check back here for updates on the AI space, Microsoft 365, and digital transformation for small businesses. Until the next video, bye bye.